You can refer to those who find a fault in Floyd Mayweather's lifestyle as haters. But what you just can't say is that they're liars. They seem to always predict his future while expressing their dislike for his person. And sooner or later, we see those predictions come to pass. It's like some of these haters carry some superpowers that eventually make him fall into their trap easily. Truly, we all have his lavish lifestyle to blame. But while many hate it, some enjoy it so well, including him. I'm a free man, Floyd. Come on, chill. I get my ass whipped and I get all your money too. How about that? Come on, chill out, Where you going with that? Where are you going with that? Go chill out, man. Turn this shit off. However, one true fact is that it mostly lands him in debt or trouble. The latest of them is a big trouble involving him beating his current girlfriend, Galen Nabila, which has now seen the former world champion taken into custody. Mayweather isn't a stranger to cases relating to domestic violence. And this was the prediction of a fan when Money Mayweather recently got his girlfriend a very expensive Louis Vuitton bag. While Floyd Mayweather was on vacation with his girlfriend, Gallen, in France, fans spotted him spending some time on the French Riviera and holding some dollar bills on a yacht. In a two-minute-long YouTube video, fans could witness the pair exploring Monaco, first with Nabila wearing a watch that has a price tag of 190 k whereas Mayweather Jr. himself donned a black watch that cost about 80 k The YouTube video also showed them carrying a white Louis Vuitton bag while exploring the scenic outdoors with their entourage. It appears the boxer-turned-promoter's daughter, Jir Milan, had also accompanied them on the trip. In the video, you could spot Mayweather Jr. holding a large brown LV bag, the Steamer 65 monogram, which the video suggested he had bought for his supermodel girlfriend. The same bag found its way to the boxer's Instagram handle as well, where he shared some snaps with it. The caption read, This video and photo explains the kind of bags I'm getting. It's been a really crazy day, but when you have good company, it's really never a stress. The pair have been together since 2019. They try to keep their relationship hidden from the public eye, but they occasionally seize headlines for some incidents, such as Mayweather Jr. gifting Nabila a Mercedes Maybach on her birthday in 2022. It seems expensive gifts are a running theme between the duo, which the fans are also trying to make sense of. As a result, one user hilariously drew an imaginative scenario of the pair getting involved in a fight where Mayweather Jr. could ask for his fancy gift back. They theorized he'll take it right back when he gets mad at her. Actually, Mayweather did take it right back. It's been a really crazy day, but when you have good company, it's really never a stress. And what he took was more than the bag. He took her mental stability, he took her emotional wholeness, and he took her physical well-being after assaulting her. According to reports, the pair had a heated argument in Floyd's Las Vegas home, right in the presence of his team members and bodyguards. And soon the argument became violent, when Floyd Mayweather moved close to Nabila and pushed her against the wall before kicking and hitting her on the floor. Mayweather continued after people on the scene were able to keep him away from her. An anonymous source that was questioned after the incident claimed it was the victim herself who contacted the police and reported the incident. Regarding the incident, new news is still coming up, as it's been discovered that the pair have had a long history of domestic violence cases, where Nabila had been silent about all these years. Money isn't the exact term that I would use. I would use someone who's like a hard worker, someone who grinds, and so I, I deserve that reciprocation of somebody. She also claimed Floyd Mayweather was always bullying her into keeping mute, seeing there is a 22-year age difference between the 47-year-old Floyd Mayweather and his 25-year-old girlfriend. Some sources within the federal authorities confirmed that Floyd would be taken to court and his punishment would be determined by the judge. This would be deep sadness for the couple, whose last presence on social media was quite amusing and engaging. The International Boxing Hall of Famer recently shared some candid moments from his personal life during a TikTok game with his girlfriend, Galen Nabila. The game, which has become popular on TikTok, involved the couple answering various questions about each other. Despite his typically private nature, Mayweather seemed comfortable sharing these insights. For instance, when asked who eats more and who lies more, he playfully pointed to Nabila. When it came to the question of who is classier and who holds grudges, Mayweather humorously claimed both titles for himself. 15 questions for couples. Who likes to eat more? Who lies more? 
A surprising revelation occurred when Nabila described him as more sensitive, a side not often associated with the tough boxer. They also agreed that if they had children, Mayweather would be the stricter parent. The most eye-catching moment was when both identified Mayweather as the more manipulative partner, a label he accepted with a grin. But as clips of the couple spread across the internet, many commenters focused on the book Smart Question. Who is more book smart? I think we all knew it wasn't Mayweather, LMAO, a TikTok commenter wrote, to which one person replied, Oh boy, don't let 50 see this video, he will ride that question all day long. On Instagram, another fan declared, We know who is more book smart. That reply could have come particularly because there is a long history of Mayweather's frenemy 50 Cent making fun of the 47-year-old retired athlete allegedly being illiterate. What was the bigger hoe before you got together? Who's classier? Who holds more grudges? No lies told by 50. One person posted in response to the couple video, along with a montage of 50 challenging the boxing champ to read a page from a Harry Potter book or The Cat in the Hat. Over the years, another ex-user also referenced the Inda Club rapper by writing, The book question was the easiest to answer since 50 exposed that Floyd Mayweather can't read. A fourth commentator said, 50 was right this whole time. Please, in the name of Jesus, can I get an amen? 50 and Mayweather have had a complicated friendship for years after joining forces to launch the Money Team promotions in 2012. The partnership ended just months later. The split ignited a public feud. Eventually, the situation turned personal when 50 Cent called out Mayweather to read from a book on camera as part of the Ice Bucket Challenge for Amyotrophic Lateral Sclerosis Awareness to add to the growing speculation about Mayweather's literacy skills. In 2014, The Breakfast Club Morning Show released audio of Floyd Mayweather struggling to read a copy for a radio drop. Who picks the restaurants for date night? Who would survive longer on Naked and Afraid? Who is more sensitive? Other people insulted Mayweather's intelligence by concentrating on another question from the video. Mayweather and Nabila were prompted to answer who is more superstitious. A TikToker posted, Mayweather didn't know what superstition meant. Someone on Instagram aimed at the couple's facial expressions, saying neither knew the meaning of superstitious. Nabila is the latest in a long list of women that Floyd Mayweather has had relationships with. He began dating the late Josie Harris in 1995, who was the mother of three of Mayweather's children. Mayweather also had a relationship with Melissa Brim, the mother of Mayweather's only daughter, Leanna. Nabila is one face that has consistently popped up since 2019. Even after Mayweather had begun a relationship with Anna Monroe, as Nabila was spotted with him in 2021 before they became more confident in going more public since 2022. The pair are sporadically spotted with public appearances, such as shopping or traveling, and they're also regularly cited at NBA games for the Los Angeles Clippers in California. So, it seems that she is the one with his heart. When it comes to kids, who is or will be the disciplinary? However, it will remain to be seen whether she appears at his upcoming rematch against John Gotti III in Mexico City, when Mayweather will bid to put a definitive end to this feud. What do we know about Galen Nabila? Nabila is a professional model signed to Wilhelmina Models, after previously working for elite model management prior to moving to Los Angeles in 2020. As part and parcel of being a modern model, she is also a social media influencer too, boasting 1.6 million fans on Instagram with collaborations with key Anastasia Beverly Hills and Fashion Nova. She's proved herself to be successful enough to form her own non-profit organization called Gallons Girls in 2023, which aims to guide young women and uplift young girls to be confident. Nabila also doubles as a designer alongside being a model and created the Gallon X Nalia line in 2023, which, in collaboration with Nalia Swim, is a bathing suit line that operates in the United States and Australia. Alongside her professional endeavors, she has a passion for traveling which includes trips to South Africa, Italy, London, and Dubai, and for watching basketball with regular appearances at NBA games. Um, between the lines, I am chatting with Floyd Mayweather sitting there. <laughs> book smart. Who is more street smart? The pair could actually be engaged too after Nabila began posting photos of her relationship online. One of them included a large diamond ring, although there has been no confirmation or denial of the rumors yet. Mayweather's violent abuse of women has repeatedly got him in trouble with the law and seen him jailed. 
he served two months of a three-month sentence in prison in 2012 after attacking his ex, Josie Harris. Two years earlier, Mayweather assaulted Josie Harris, the couple having three children together. The horrific assault, which Harris described in an unpublished book, took place in front of their three kids, Jira, Zion, and Quan, who were aged just 7, 9, and 11 at the time. I find that uh, one unique aspect of this case that I think is different than many others. Harris wrote about how Mayweather allegedly grabbed her by the hair while she was still sleeping, dragged her around the room of her home in Las Vegas like a rag doll, before punching her repeatedly in the head, screaming, I'll have King kill you. She also described being woken by the sound of her own screams during the assault as their children begged him to stop. Their son, Quan, then aged 10, managed to jump over the fence and get help from security, who called 911 while Mayweather sped off in his car. According to the account, Mayweather's mugshot after being arrested for the battery report eventually landed him in jail. He had hit me before, and I had been violent toward him in our relationship, Harris wrote, but I knew this had to be the last beatdown. The couple had first met in 1995 at a bowling alley in Las Vegas, when Josie was 16 and Mayweather was 19, and began dating, eventually going on to have their three kids. Their relationship was volatile. However, Josie said in 2014 that she suffered physical abuse from the boxing champ on six occasions. According to USA Today, it was the couple's oldest son, Quan, who slipped out of the house to alert a security guard to summon the police. Mayweather was eventually sentenced to 90 days in prison. It was one of seven alleged assaults Mayweather has committed against five different women that resulted in him being arrested or issued a citation. Last month, his former fiance, Chantel Jackson, filed a civil lawsuit, including claims of battery, false imprisonment, and allegations that the fighter pointed a gun at her some years ago. Harris still viewed her history with Mayweather as a love story gone wrong. Now, in light of recent public awareness sparked by a video of NFL running back Ray Rice punching his wife in an elevator, with even President Obama weighing in on efforts to stop domestic violence, she sees it differently. It would have escalated if he had not ran out to go get help. I mean, one little accident, toss, bump head on the table. I was a battered woman. I felt embarrassed about saying I was a battered woman. I felt ashamed. I felt like it was my fault. What did I do? I didn't understand what a battered woman was at that time. Now I know I was in a very dysfunctional, hostile relationship and a victim of domestic violence. Rather than be part of the sad narrative of domestic violence, Harris has taken charge. She has written a book she hopes to publish in 2015, wanting her own experience to serve as a source of comfort and inspiration to other women trapped in a cycle of abuse. She also wants Mayweather to get professional help, though she holds little hope that he will. With time comes wisdom, she wrote to USA Today Sports in a text message following the interview. I hope his lessons aren't too harsh, as he does have a good heart. The heady world of professional sports and the adrenaline and glamour attached to it can provide an intoxicating mix for those caught up in the lifestyle. Mayweather is the highest earning athlete in sports. He collected $41.1 million for his September 2013 victory over Saul Alvarez and once posted online an ATM receipt that indicated an account balance of $123 million. Harris believes the whirlwind, combined with fear of financial vulnerability, and personal isolation can cause many women to stay in a destructive relationship. She says she spent several years feeling sorry for herself, but counseling, therapy, and antidepressants have brought her to a point where she feels empowered. There's been times, and I even say it in my book, I've hit his ass over the head with a Tonka trunk a few times too. Uh... Quan Mayweather is home early from school with an upset stomach and is about to head upstairs to his bedroom when he spots something on the dining room table. His mother tells him it is a copy of his statement to police from September 20th, the night his father attacked her. Quan, now 14, had never seen it and laughs when he sees his 10-year-old's handwriting. There are no commas, he smiles, but it is pretty good. But as the memories of the violence come back, Quan's face turns serious. He sits down at the table to talk about what happened. Harris and Mayweather had a tempestuous relationship full of fallings out and makeups, but by then, they were living apart. Harris and the children lived in an upscale area along Las Vegas' western edge, while Mayweather lived at his own property with Chantel Jackson, who had become his main love interest. Despite having split with Harris, Mayweather was apparently unhappy at rumors Harris was dating another man. He came to the house twice late at night after she had been out with friends, 
Mayweather denied the allegations about the 2010 incident in an interview with Katie Couric in 2015. Did I restrain a woman that was on drugs? Yes, I did, Mayweather told her. So if they say that's domestic violence, then you know what? I'm guilty. I'm guilty of restraining someone. Harris brought a $20 million lawsuit for defamation against Mayweather over his claims she was on drugs, but Harris didn't live to see the outcome of the case. Mother of three, Harris was found dead in her car in March 2020, aged just 40. She was reportedly found by one of her kids outside her house in Valencia, California. No evidence of drugs or suicide was found at the scene, but a coroner later concluded that Harris accidentally died of mixed drug toxicity. Sold. Um, I've waited a really long time and committed a lot of um, emotion and support to Floyd. And After her death, Mayweather shared pictures of him and Harris together with his millions of Instagram followers, referring to Harris as my angel, my heart, my sweetheart, my love, my rock, my family, my kiss, my sunshine, and my flowers. He later said he would give up his billionaire lifestyle to have Harris back. I've got to take my time when I talk about this, Mayweather said during the premiere of Hollywood Unlock, Jason Lee Uncensored. Everything I asked for in life, any and everything I thought about in life, I got. And I'll say this every day, just for her to come back, I'll give it all, man, he added. It's tough every day. I think about it. It's tough. It's very, very touchy. Even before his relationship with Harris, Mayweather had been convicted of attacking another partner. In 2001, Mayweather punched Melissa Brim, the mother of his daughter, Anna, in an argument in a Las Vegas shopping center. He pleaded guilty to two counts of battery against Brim and received a suspended sentence. In 2002, according to the Las Vegas Review Journal, a year later, he punched two of Harris's female friends in a nightclub and chased them out of the venue. He again received a suspended sentence for two counts of battery, the Las Vegas Sun reports. He was also ordered to undergo impulse control counseling, but the verdict was later vacated and the charges dismissed per negotiations, according to Deadspin. There was a separate incident involving Harris before the attack for which he was jailed. In 2005, Mayweather stood trial for felony battery after allegedly kicking and punching Harris and dragging her out of his Bentley by her hair. But at trial, Harris changed her story on the witness stand, saying she'd lied to cops about the fight. Mayweather's history of abuse towards women has led him to be linked with many different partners in recent years. He was engaged to Chantel Jackson, but they split in 2013, with Jackson starting a relationship with rapper Nelly a year later. After Jackson split from Mayweather, she sued him for invasion of privacy, assault, battery, harassment, and infliction of emotional distress, along with other charges. In turn, he filed a suit against Jackson for using his credit cards and stealing money, as well as accusing her of secretly recording phone calls according to The Blast. And that's all for now. For the very best updates on news, moments, events, and actions in the world of boxing, stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to turn on notifications to be notified when we drop quality content like this. Until next time, peace out.